Apple's iPhone 16 lineup is gonna be incredible. And now that we're in 2024, we're only a few months away from the big reveal, where Apple's gonna show off their brand new larger design, updated displays, the new additional capture button, and so much more, especially on the inside. So in this video, I'm gonna share seven brand new, very important leak updates that we just got. And yes, these are all new leaks that I didn't mention before in previous videos. Getting right into leak update number one, we have the action button design for the iPhone 16 lineup, and it looks like Apple has finally decided on what they're gonna do with it. Apple's recently been tweaking the design of the action button and changing the sizing, and some rumors were pointing to it being a larger and longer action button exclusively for the 16 Pro models. Why? Well, because the regular 16s were rumored to finally get the action button, so they wanted the Pro models to still seem and look special. Now, some of the leaks pointed to Apple using a capacitive action button, which had a flush look on the design instead of looking more like a button like we have right now. And there were even leaks of Apple unifying the volume buttons into a large rocker with a cut in the middle with a small action button above. It. So we just got a new leak with the latest Pro 2 development stage, and Apple is apparently sticking to the current design, no changes at all for the 16 Pro, while the regular 16 models are going to be getting the new action button, and apparently Apple's going to be saving all of the major changes for the iPhone 17. Now moving on to leak update number two, this one is going to be huge for the regular iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. According to the Apple analyst Jeff Poo, the new basic iPhone 16 models will now finally come with 8 gigabytes of RAM and Wi-Fi 6E support, just just like we have on the current 15 Pro models right now. I've been using my 15 Pro Max for a few months, and this is the first phone where I have no issues whatsoever with multitasking and apps no longer resetting like they did before. It's just been an amazing multitasking experience, and it makes sense since you have the same amount of RAM, eight gigs, as you have on the M3 MacBook Pro. Now, the more interesting part about this leak is that the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro models are rumored to be getting the A18 and A18 Pro chips. Now, my theory is that both of those chips will actually be the same physical chip, but the A18 Pro will be coming with exclusive features and more of the cores enabled. And my theory now finally has some proof now that we see that both models are coming with eight gigs of RAM, making it easier to manufacture them. But as far as the Wi-Fi, the iPhone 16 Pro models are rumored to be getting Wi-Fi 7, which is a big upgrade. Getting to number three, we've got to talk about another big feature that's going to be exclusive to the 16 Pro models, which is the latest Snapdragon X75 5G modem. Now, this leak also came from Jeff Poo just a few days ago, and it's really disappointing for a couple of reasons. But first, I've got to show you the absolute best MagSafe car charger that'll support not only the iPhone 16s, but even the current iPhone 15 models from our sponsor ESR, which is the number one brand of MagSafe accessories on Amazon with 368,000 plus five-star reviews. This right here is the world's first Qi 2 MagSafe car mount charger, which can finally charge your iPhone at the full 15 watts of power, just like Apple's official 15 watt MagSafe. So it's just as fast, but much more affordable since they don't have to pay Apple the royalty fees, so they can lower the price down to only around 36 bucks. That's an incredibly good deal, even for a basic car charger, but this one supports 15 watt Qi 2, which is just insane. And it even features two secure mounting methods and either an air vent or on the dashboard for maximum flexibility with highly customizable viewing angles. So use the link in the description below to order it today, as well as checking out ESR's entire Qi 2 MagSafe charger lineup. Getting back to the new X75 modem, first of all, the current regular iPhone 15 models came with the same new X70 
Agni modem as the 15 Pro models, which was a big surprise because that modem is just so good. As soon as I upgraded to this 15 Pro Max, the 5G service has been incredible. It's been a lot better at my house, while I'm on the road, switching between Wi-Fi, and my wife even noticed that when we're at Spirit Lake camping in the summer, she can finally make calls on her new 15 Pro, whereas the previous 14 Pro wouldn't even initiate a call, it would just cancel right away. The modem was not good enough, but now it is. So it's really exciting that the 16 Pro will be getting the new X75 modem, which will be even better, and apparently it's gonna use 20% less power, leading to better battery life and less overheating, but it's disappointing that the regular 16 is no longer getting the flagship X75 modem with the new 5G advanced feature, which should have much improved performance. Now for leak number four, this actually has to do with Apple's biggest rival on the Android side, Samsung. For the first time ever, Apple has shipped more smartphones annually than Samsung, which is a huge deal because the average sale price for a Samsung phone is much lower because they ship a ton of budget phones. But in terms of the leaks, we've already seen the Galaxy S24 Ultra's leaked performance benchmarks with that new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, and it's looking really good for the future iPhone 16 models with the A18 and A18 Pro chips. Now, now for update number five, this one's a bit disappointing for the new iPhone 16 Pro models. Based on a new report from Digitimes, the one terabyte SSD models could see worse performance than we currently have on the one terabyte 15 Pros. Apparently, Apple's gonna try to reduce their expenses on the new models by switching to more available and less expensive quad level cell NAND flash memory for the storage. Apple's currently using a triple level cell, which is much more expensive because it's able to keep the performance high even when transferring large amounts of files. Quad level storage allows four bits of data into a single cell instead of three, which increases the capacity while using the same footprint size, which makes it cheaper to produce, but it leads to slower performance and lower life expectancy since it's a bit more complicated to transfer the extra bit into the cell back and forth. But I guess Apple needs to do this because they're currently only charging 200 bucks more for the one terabyte storage option over the 512, so their profits are currently low on that upgrade, but I think it's mainly because of another reason, which brings us into update number six that we just got the other day. According to a Korean tech blogger, the new iPhone 16 Pro models will apparently come with a new two terabyte storage option for the first time ever, which makes sense now that we're recording more video and it's becoming a bigger deal, especially with the Vision Pro headsets. That's one of the reasons why Apple's adding the new capture button to the 16 Pro just for recording video, which takes up much more storage space. But it seems like this new two terabyte storage upgrade is only coming because Apple is switching to QLC or quad level cell storage, allowing them to get it for cheaper and not pass that price down to us, charging us crazy amounts of cash to upgrade. And finally, let's finish off with number seven, which is a recent leak that we got from Ming Chi Kuo. Apparently, the new iPhone 17 next year is gonna be coming with a brand new 24 megapixel front-facing camera, greatly improving the image quality for selfies with a new six element lens. And this is gonna happen hand in hand with the iPhone 17 being the first iPhone to feature under panel face ID technology, which is likely gonna allow them more space for a bigger selfie camera sensor. But what does that mean for the iPhone 16 Pro? Well, it means that we shouldn't expect any camera changes at all on that front. We'll still be getting the same old 12 megapixel selfie cam, but the good news is that the iPhone 16 models will be getting a new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera on the back, and the 16 Pro will finally get the 5X camera like the Pro Max has, which is my personal favorite camera. There you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this iPhone 16 leak updates video. So there you guys go. But there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this iPhone 16 leak updates video. And if you did, you can subscribe above and check out our thoughts on the Vision Pro headset right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.